ready for some fajitas? Now it's almost Cinco de Mayo and this is the first thing that's on my menu. So let me show y'all how I do it. I'm starting out with some good old homemade tortillas. I got some flour right here. I'm adding in some salt. After that, I'm going in with some baking powder and then I'm going to give that a good mix. After I give it a good mix, I'm going to go ahead and add in some olive oil and then I'm going in with some water. Now I'm going to pour my water in a little bit at a time until I get it all in there. Then I'm going to start mixing it up with my hands until it comes up to a ball. Now I'm going to pour it out onto my countertop and now I'm going to start working my dough. Now if you are certified and you're professional, you call it kneading your dough. But me, I'm just a small town cook, so I call it working my dough because that's the way my mama taught me so I'm just going to continue to work my dough until it starts to come together and it's not sticky anymore now once I get it to that point I'm going to place it on some plastic wrap wrap it up real good then I'm going to grab that big old beautiful bowl that Miss Barbara gave me I'm going to place it right there in the center and add one of those beautiful towels she gave me to the top now I'm going to let it rest for about 30 minutes now let's get to working on this corn salsa I got some tomatoes right here I'm just going to go ahead and get them all chopped up once I get them chopped up, I'm going to add them to my bowl. Now, once I get them in this bowl, I'm going to go ahead and grab me some good old onions. I'm going to chop them onions up, and I'm going to go ahead and add them to my bowl. Now, I only had some jalapenos in the jar, so I chopped those up, and I went ahead on and added them to the bowl. And I also grabbed me some cilantro. I'm just going to pull the leaves off the stem because I don't like them stems in my stuff. So I'm just going to chop them up, but I want to chop them up real fine. After I get them chopped up, y'all, I'm just going to go ahead on it. You know what? Add them to my bowl. Now, I had some canned corn that was in my pantry. That's all I had, so that's what I'm using. If y'all got some fresh... By all means, use your fresh. So I'm just adding that to the bowl. And then I'm going in with a little salt and a little pepper and some sugar. So y'all sugar police, if you don't want it, don't use it. So now I'm going in with some lime. And now I'm just going to give it a good old mix. But y'all know what? That greedy spirit over here tapping on my shoulder. So I got to give it a taste. Mm, that thing got a kick. I got to drop the spoon on this when I'm done. And I'm back. Y'all knew I wasn't done. I got to finish up this meal for that man. Y'all just look at this. So I'm going to go ahead on and place this saran wrap on the top of this, put it in the refrigerator so it can get good and marinated. So now I got my avocado, y'all. I'm just going to go ahead on and cut that avocado open. Y'all look at it. Ain't it beautiful? So now I'm just going to go ahead and get that seed out. Go ahead on and get it chopped up. Once I get it chopped up, I'm going to go ahead on and throw it into my bowl. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put me some onions in there. After that, I'm going to put me some tomatoes in there. Then, I'm going to go in with some of those jalapeno peppers. After those jalapeno peppers, I'm going in with some cilantro, a little bit of salt, and then I'm going to add in some peppers. And, of course, y'all know I got to add in that line. I want my guacamole to be smooth, so I just went ahead and added it to my Nutribullet and blended it on up. You don't have to do this if you want some chunks. But I wanted mine to be smooth, so that's what I did. So now I'm just going to add it to a bowl. I didn't have that much for this big old bowl, so I ended up adding it to a smaller bowl. And this is what I have. Y'all look at that. Don't that look good? So now, I got some steak that I had in my freezer. I'm just going to go ahead on it, slice that steak up. And I'm slicing it up real, real thin, just like this, y'all. After I sliced that steak up, I did give it a good old wash, but y'all ain't got to see all that because this movie made. Now I'm going to add in some onion powder. After that, I'm going in with some garlic powder. Then I'm going in with some chili powder. Then I'm going in with some cumin. After that, I'm going in with some cayenne. Then some lime pepper seasoning. And then I'm adding in some olive oil. And then I'm going to take these old fangles of mine and I'm going to give it a mix. After that, I'm going to do the same thing with the chicken. I'm going to chop that chicken up. And, of course, this chicken is already washed. Then I'm going to add in the same seasoning. Some garlic powder, some onion powder. I'm going in with some chili powder. Then I'm going in with some cumin. After that, I'm going in with some cayenne. Then some lemon pepper seasoning. And then, of course, some olive oil. And, again, I'm going to take these old fingers and mix it all together. Now, I got some success rice. Now, if you don't like success, don't use it. Use what you want. I'm just going to add them to a pot of water because I want some cilantro lime rice. Now back to my tortillas. I know some of y'all over there saying tortillas, but it's tortillas. So now I got my flour surface down. I'm going to take my dough. I'm going to unwrap it, y'all. I'm going to place it down on my flour surface, y'all. And then I'm going to start cutting out my tortillas. Once I get them cut out, I'm just going to go ahead and start rolling them into a ball. Once I get into a ball, I'm going to place it on a baking sheet covered with plastic wrap. And this is movie magic, y'all. I've done them all. So now I'm just going to take my good old rolling pin. I'm going to grab old Brenda because she's going to be doing all the cooking. 
Now I'm going to grab my dough. I'm going to place it onto my flour surface. I'm going to grab my good old rolling pin and start rolling it out. I'm going to roll it out until it's about one inch in thickness. Now I'm going to take my tortilla. I'm going to throw it into the pan. Make sure it spread it out evenly. And once it starts bubbling up and start browning on the bottom, I'm just going to take my spatula and flip it over. I'm going to let it brown on the other side. Now I got to go in y'all and check to make sure it's the color that I want it to be on the bottom. Once I get it right y'all, I'm just going to take my spatula and go ahead on and take it off and do all the rest of them. Now back to my cilantro lime rice. My rice is ready. I'm adding in some cilantro. I'm adding in some fresh lime and some of that lime pepper seasoning. Easy, simple, and good. Give it a good stir and it is all done. Now I got Brenda here. She's still heated up. I got some onions and peppers chopped up. I'm just going to add them to my pan. Now I'm just going to cook them up until they get good and tender. And then I'm going to add it to my reserve pan. Now Brenda, she's still fired up. So I'm going to go ahead on and add in my steak. I'm going to cook that steak up until it gets good and done. And then I'm going to add that steak to that same reserve pan. Now y'all know what's next. I'm going in with my chicken. I'm adding the chicken to the same pan. I'm going to cook it up until it gets good and done. Then I'm going to add it to that same pan. Now, y'all, I got my cilantro rice right here. It's ready to go. And I got my pan of my chicken, my steak, and all my veggies. I got my tortillas. I got my corn salsa. I got my guacamole. I got me some sour cream and some cheese, y'all. Now, let's plate it up. I'm taking my tortilla, adding it to the plate. I'm adding on some cheese. After I add that cheese, I'm going in with some rice. This first one going to be a steak one, y'all. So, I'm going to add on some steak. After I get that steak on there, I'm going in with some of those good old peppers and onions. After that, y'all, I'm going in with some of that good old corn salsa. Then I'm going to top it off with a little guacamole. Then I'm going in with some sour cream, y'all. And then I'm going to top it off with a little bit of cilantro. I add a little piece of lime to the side, y'all. And look at this masterpiece right here. Mm, mm. Mm. I'm ready, y'all. My greedy spirit telling me to hurry up. Look at how ginormous this thing is. I can barely get it in my hand. Come on up closer so y'all can get a real good look at it. Now, y'all already know what's next. I got to give it a taste. Lord have mercy. Mm. Mm -mm. I got to get another taste just to make sure I'm tasting what I'm tasting. Mm -mm -mm. Now, this don't make no kind of sense, y'all. I'm on my second one, y'all. Mm -mm. That's good right there. 